Hey guys, it's Sean here from IronSnackFitness.com. Really excited to talk to you guys about getting into starting um, triathlons, getting into the sport of triathlon. This is mostly going to be for people who haven't done many triathlons before and are starting to try to get into it, or people who've done a couple and just want to have more fun doing it and they're really worn out by the end of it. This is a great way to get started and figure things out. Um, I want to have some more that are more like uh, intense and really talking about like long distances and how to like nutrition during it and everything like that. But I don't know exactly what you guys want to hear, so just comment on the YouTube videos, and I'll make a video about it for you guys, for the big triathletes here. But for the beginners, this one's great. So I've done seven years of triathlete, or being a triathlete, um, on and off, kind of. The last two seasons have been very intense with a half Ironman at the end of this season. Did a half Ironman a couple years ago. Last season got a lot of Olympic races under the belt. So that was a great season for me. Had a lot of fun. Did some really good coaching there. Um... But the first couple seasons was all me, I was just trying to figure out, um, go as like go as I do it, and uh, you know it was a little it was a little hard to figure out at first. But I figured finally figured out I think what works really well for me, and it's worked well for others that I've talked to as well. So um, why triathlon is a sport? This is coming from somebody who's done a lot of sports in my past. I played a lot of sports in middle school and high school. I played college tennis, but this is just a different a different aspect altogether. It, the more, harder you work, the better you get. Everyone's super nice in the whole like, community. Um, triathlons are just a lot of fun. It's a great race to do. You have three different things. You're not getting bored just running or just biking or just swimming. We're doing everything together, and it's awesome. So if you guys are just starting, there's sprint, Olympic, half Ironman, Ironman different distances. There's a lot more than that, but those are the most common. So for the sprint, which I would recommend for starters, it's um, one-fourth of a mile on the swim, and that is about 17 laps in a pool. It's 13-mile bike ride about, depending on the race. 13 to 15 miles, and it is, um, sorry, it is a 5K, which is 3.1 mile run, which is not a ton for people who have done it a lot. So a lot of people are thinking, oh wow, that sounds like nothing to me. It's easy. And a lot of people are probably like, there's no way in the world I can do this. So for both of you guys, I have something to say. For the guys who think it's easy, I'm sure you could get it done, but you want to train and do your best. You're having a lot of fun during it, and you know you're doing a great job. And for the guys who think there's no way you could do it, my dad's 61, he did his first triathlon ever last summer, um, trained for about a month and a half, two months, and did a great job and really beat what he thought he was going to get on it. So no matter what, you're going to be able to do this. You just need to do it the right way. All you need for triathlons is running shoes, a bike. It can be any bike. I had this really old belt um, road bike for a long time, did awesome in it, loved it, and a place to swim, and that's all, all you got to have. Um, and you can bike inside if it's cold. It's cold here. There's a snowman outside. Um, but I'm still biking here on the inside. Um, so you guys, you're good. Then there's just three steps for me that you need to do. First one, get a goal rice. It has to be at least three months out, hopefully six months out. Um, so mine was always when I was doing little ones. There's a Pewaukee in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. There's a good sprint. There's also one called Seahorse, which is a good one in Michigan. And I'm sure you can find ones anywhere. And you can contact me and ask me if you want. Set it for like June, July where it's warm outside. Have a good sprint you can do. Now you have a goal to reach and you know how far it is away. If you want to put other ones in the mix, that's fine, but have your A race, the race you really want to do, and then you have a goal set. Second thing is get a plan. So the best thing I can recommend is this book called The Triathlete's Training Bible. Like everyone I know who started used this. I did. It's great. But if you don't want to pay the $13 for the book, there's a ton of free plans online. It's, you can get three-month, four-month, five-month plans. And it's easy, and you just put your um, put where you want to be in it, what you're doing, which is a sprint triathlon. They'll have a great thing for you. And then the third is get motivated, work hard, and be healthy. I know that seems like a lot for one bullet point, but it's all the same. When you're doing your workout, and it's on the plan you already have in step two, really work out. When you're, you're supposed to do three miles, do three miles and do it. If it says hard, do it hard. If it says medium, do it medium. Do it how it says, because these plans know. Um, these plans are good, and if you're kind of half-assing it, um, I've done that a couple times, then you get to the race, and you're just not having fun. I'll post a picture right here. Okay, so that picture was me during the first race I did this past year, where I hadn't trained much, and I came out of the swim, a quarter mile swim, shouldn't have been a lot, and I was just done, because I was going so hard, because I thought I'd kill it, because I have in the past, and I just wasn't there, because I didn't work hard enough. Um, and then be healthy during it. Eat healthy, we can talk about that. Um, there's a lot of things at ironstackfitness.com where you can learn about that. Um, but eat healthy during it. Try to be a healthy person during this, and it'll help you a lot with your race, with your times, everything. You're going to love it. So um, those are the big things for me. Um, I like to go on YouTube. If you're getting bored, it says an hour-long bike ride. I always go on YouTube and look up Ironman World Champions. Watch those videos. He's going to have Craig Alexander, one of the best in the world. He's a great guy to watch. He has motivational videos. That's a great thing you can do while you're running. You can biking. You can learn more about the sport. But the main things are make a goal race. Find a sprint race by you. They should be pretty cheap. 
get an active pass for one day. You don't need to get the year round. It's like ten dollars a day, and then just pay for the. It's probably pretty cheap if it's a sprint race. So you have that goal set. Then either get the triathlon's training bible, or you can do a free plan, and you'll be fine with that. Um, and it'll the free plans are just as good as the bible, but the bible is great. And then you have a plan to stick to. And then stick to it, work hard during it, and be healthy during it. And you guys are going to have a great time. Any questions, email me at sean at ironsnackfitness.com. Or leave a comment below on the YouTube video. Um, you guys know about Iron Snack. By the way, we have a new logo. And here's the new uh, tank tops that are coming out soon. So you guys can uh, head over to the site and get a new one or email us. Whatever you want to do. If you have any questions about triathlon at all, send me a message. Sean at ironsnackfitness.com. Or any questions about medical school, working out during medical school. Just hit us up and uh, please subscribe and like this page. Thank you.